Mm. 51. Right, okay. Cool. Obviously, we'll do a 110 tons of um, Noki making, so I'm just going to do the one portion. Again, if you want to take the rest home, happy days. No problem. So I'm just going to do what I want. I want about four or five pieces. Yeah, a bit of flour. And nice shaving. Like so. All you. Yeah, not you classically would be a shape. You've got uh, either you have a knocky board. Have yeah, you ever yeah. seen a, a garlic grater? Which is like a, it's a bit like a paddle board. So it hasn't got any uh, holes in it, just a knob you on. But it's basically like that, except that instead of having lumps, it'll have grooves. Yeah. And you get it and you roll it down, so you get the grooves in the knocky. So it'll be like a little, like a worm. Use a little stick in there, don't you? Yeah, I can't use a stick. There's, there's, a, there's a myriad of ways of doing it. I'm sure every village in Italy will have their own way and say that theirs is the best way of working. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just basically getting it and I'm basically just making a nice little square pattern or oblong, as it were. It's more like a little flower, like you're saying. You can make it and you can par, par blanch it. And then just like we re heat it in water. And then just um, crisp it up in the pan. So you can do it beforehand if you have it as a as a meal or whatever. You can actually make it and freeze it. When would you freeze it after par blanching? Yeah, after par blanching. I would freeze it like that. I'll par cook it first, and then. Is that the stuff like the liquid in it? It's like the Yeah, basically, I would say best best to be so like um, better cooked, better like pasta. You can freeze yeah. pasta down, you know, and then use it. All right, so happy days. So we're knocky, nice and straightforward, doesn't take long to cook, yeah. And the water. Seasoned water, up plain water. Water's all seasoned, yeah, especially with cooking any refined dishes. We've already seasoned that, we've already we'll seasoned the um, water as well. Not be seasoned as well. Like so, yeah. So basically, I'm going to finish my dishes off now. I'm getting so weak from not used to being in the kitchen all day, every day. Right, right the sauce, as you see, nice tight bubbles, yeah? The bubbles are nice and tight. Depth the colour is really, really good. Coffee, all eggs of coffee, whipped cream. Yeah, so it's a nice coffee, creamy colour, yeah? Okay, I'll leave that little cream there if I need to reduce it down any further, all right? Bring that into the scent at the start and bring it up to the boil. I want some butter in the pan. The lid's off. Sit these out. I'm on the side. Drain back on with that water because all has been in there is the cling film, so that's not a problem. I've got my purple sprouting broccoli, just cut down nice and on an angle on a bias. Yeah, in baby spinach, pick through it. Any big bits or any weird bits, to be fair, the baby spinach today is baby, really, really small. You have the odd leaf in there that you need to pick off, I mean, the odd stem, but most of it you'll be fine. Check through it. Is that goes in when you melt the butter. And you're literally just going to wilt. What's the cooking mushroom? Just a bit of oil. A little oil. Sorry. A little oil. That's it. Salt. Pepper. Right. That's where it gets a bit busy. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Ever not in my kitchen. Right, so my spinach is melting, the chicken's out resting. I want to colour my chicken. Yeah. Pan on. I'm giving that knocky about three or four minutes cooking. Yeah. I'm basically just blanching that broccoli up a little bit. Yeah. Because I've got to char it. Yeah. So basically, give it another minute or so. Uh, 
So we've not these out, we've pulled the boil, floated, put the minutes in there, yeah. So not long at all. And a nice colour on that. Yeah, colour on both of them, got your gears. Definitely not happy with them to take this one. Alright, I need to colour them on both sides. Whilst I'm waiting, get the chicken out of the bag. Nice golden brown. Nice charring on your purple sprouting. Good colour. Warm plate. Sauce done. Nice colour in the purple sprouting. Yeah. Nice crisp coating on the gnocchi. Right. Oil. Make sure your chicken's dried. That's just so it doesn't stick. Yeah? That's just so it doesn't stick. Yeah, perfectly. Nice colour. Just put that on there for a little bit of charring. Happy days. Yeah. So, uh, chicken is a bit just sitting. That's why you're lucky to wear long sleeves. Well, your half is on, wearing long sleeves that way. Well, little butter. On bread. Here's the butter, the colour, the add flavour. Yeah, you want a nice colour on it, yeah? Yeah. 
yeah, of me next right now. <laughs> So, we should know where the knuckle is about there, yeah? As long as that's where the leg's gone down to. All we need to do is let it soak, yeah? Like so, yeah? On there, to drain off any excess leg. Okay. Nice and tight bubbles on them, yeah. So I'm happy with that sourcing. It's almost Good. like a butterscotch or a caramel. Yeah, yeah, it. exactly. Yeah. It's a nice amount of sauce on, yeah. I don't need to worry about seasoning because it's well reduced. Uh, it's flavoured stock. Yeah. I taste the stock as it was making and have nice flavour, so it's well reduced and nice in reduction. So it should be intense in flavour. Which it is. 